You know, the Olympics are fast upon us, and I think it's time that we take a few minutes to celebrate America and also look at some exercises that remind me of the Olympic Games. USA! USA! All these exercises, we're going to be using the free motion machine, a great way to use a whole bunch of different planes of movement all at one time. With these exercises, keep in mind that you have to have adequate mobility through your upper back or your thoracic spine, your shoulder or your glenohumeral joint, and your scapula or your shoulder blade all at the same time. With that, you also need to be stable in those areas along with being stable in your pelvis and all the way up through your trunk in a rotational plane. This is so you can control your body when you're moving a lot of force um, in a rotating direction. To make sure that you have all these prerequisites accomplished, it's best if you got movement screen. The functional movement screen is a great example to give you an idea of whether or not you're sort of prepared to do exercises like this. This first exercise reminds me of the shot put. You can see that the weight stays about shoulder level and never goes lower than that, and then you just press it up and forward. The key thing here is that you use all of your body to help move this weight. So from your toes digging into the ground, your ankle, knee, hip, trunk, shoulder, elbow, all moving in sequence and all coordinated to move. Next one reminds me of the judo throw. You can imagine somebody coming up to attack me off of the left and I'm just throwing them to the side. The key with this one is again that your body moves in unison. This time the power source is certainly in your trunk, through your abdominals and your hips. You're going to be rotating through that part of your body first and your arms move in reaction to that. Alright, next we have the discus. You can kind of visualize a discus in my left hand in this case and I'm throwing it as far as I can. Once again, you use your legs all the way up your body and then your arm just flies as if it's dead weight moving in response to the power from your lower half. Alright, last of all we have the javelin. Again, providing a great example of rotating with power, starting from the ground, being coordinated all the way from the ground up. This one also provides a great example, as all these exercises do, of how to control your spine, keeping it in a neutral position without bending forward or arching excessively backwards, but just letting it move in a natural way with the rest of your body. So as you can see, these exercises are a lot of fun, and they're great at teaching lower body, upper body coordination, which is really useful for a lot of sports, especially things like golf or anything where you have to throw or strike, anytime you're trying to coordinate your body to be powerful. That being said, these machines can also be used to generate a lot of power potential and give you a great opportunity to learn that skill as well. Please don't attempt these unless you know for, for certain that you have the adequate stability and mobility requirements to achieve them. And if you have any doubt at all, I'd be happy to help you out with either a functional movement screen or a, a uh, full hour session.